the life that you start to live when you have a why not attitude is full of adventure every day where I used to think for myself that I was a night person mm -hmm. and, and I would always, oh, mornings are not for me. I'm a night owl, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I actually had that same attitude where I had amazing things to do every day to where I kept wanting to get up earlier and earlier because I was so excited about what each day became. And it wasn't because I was a night person. It was just, I didn't have these other things going on. Yeah. And it wasn't until it was a why not attitude where everything opens up. Yeah. And I can relate to that so much because to be honest, I was the exact same way and I'm embarrassed to admit this, but <laughs> I would like, there was no way I was getting to sleep before two. It just yep. wasn't possible. Yep. Nope. <laughs> and there were days, successful, sober days where I was waking up at 10 AM yeah. and I'm trying to run this business. I'm pretending like I'm an entrepreneur, you know, whatever. And I'm yep. waking up late and sleeping in. It wasn't until a friend challenged me to start waking up. And I think it started with like a week, you know, yeah. wake up for a week at 7 AM. Yeah. That's it. And then all of a sudden you start doing it. You realize it's not that hard. You realize, oh, I have time to work out. Wonder yeah. what working out is like, right. you know? And then all of a sudden now, now I'm the guy who wakes up at 7 a.m., works out three days a week and does, I'm the completely different mm -hmm. guy because of a challenge to wake up early for, you know what I mean? And it was the Absolutely. same way. I was a night guy too. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to make that your narrative living yeah. in Hollywood. We were laughing about <laughs> where we were living earlier. You know, we live in the epicenter of nightlife here in LA. So it's easy to get caught up in that and yeah. sleep in and then make that, hey, I'm just a cool entrepreneur. I'm sleeping until 11. Yeah. Now I'm checking my emails. <laughs> but when you actually start getting up earlier before everyone else is hammering you, you can actually get that alone time. You can get that meditation and you can get that workout in and then hit the ground running instead of playing catch up at 11. Like, oh, my God, my inbox is insane. How am I going to get through this day? Yeah. I mean, for especially because this is the kind of the thing of this episode for a guy that deals with anxiety on any level. The difference between starting your day on offense and starting it on defense is like a night and day it's, difference. It's amazing. For every interaction. It changes the way I am in this podcast. Mm -hmm. It's the difference of waking up and having an inbox full of things and feeling like you're the late one and having time to meditate and take some time to yourself and do whatever and then approach the day however you want to approach it. Like it is a game changer. And it was so funny. I mean, I would hear that advice constantly, even on guests we had on the show yep. about successful people get up early. They get up before everyone else. I'm like, I can be successful and sleep in. Yeah. I can be success successful <laughs> and, and stay up all night working. It actually doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't. We are not wired to be productive that late at night. You yep. can say you are, you yep. can say you're bucking the trend, but the proof is in the pudding. We've had enough guests on over the years to know that getting up early, early rising gets things done. It does.